Morning, everybody. Welcome to Ensenal Canyon Road. Uh, this is going to be really cool. It's actually a reshoot. We had an audio problem a couple months ago. So uh, this is Tyler, and thank you so much for uh, coming yeah, back man. out and your Volvo S60 T5 heavily modified. Yes. Uh, yes tell indeed. me, remind, remind me, give me the go around again. Uh, it's got a tune on it, stage three tune. Um, third motor. It's on the. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not very. Uh, and it Great is the five. That, it's the five cylinder, right? It is a five cylinder. Okay. It's a two point four liter. It's a T five motor, the 07 and 05 and up. Uh huh. And uh, stage three tune, like an upgraded turbo, a twenty T turbo, and a uh, few suspension modifications. Uh, bars going across the undercarriage and, and uh, so the chassis bracing and stuff braces, like yes. that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and it's front wheel drive, right? It Not is. all wheel drive. It is. It is manual, and it, it has that manual. the fantastic. Uh, what do we call this thing? What they do we call, call the, the uh, shifter? space ball. Space yeah. ball. Yeah, uh, space ball is appropriate. It's uh, it's one of the cooler shifter boots that exists. Oh, and it sounds good. Here we go. Oh, boost! It likes to be above 3,500, if yes, I'm not mistaken. And uh, I really like the wheels on this thing. What are, the, what are those wheels? It's a company called Fasco. Uh, the model is Hayaku. Or 18 by 8 and a half, or 18 it's by 8. So fitted GDM. Yeah, very. And uh, this thing makes so many cool sounds. That would be the forged compression bypass valve and forged waste. <laughs> <laughs> this thing like it really messes with you like these volvos like because the swedes are crazy like the swedes build cars like uh, like nobody else builds cars uh between volvo and koenigsegg and saab it's like they're all just so different but to hear the traditional tuner noises everybody underestimates them it's a rare treat really it really is, it really is. Actually, the last time we shot the car, yeah, I was running 14 pounds of boost. Now what are you running? Uh, 20, 21. Really? Wow. And, uh, get a, it's a different whiskey spring. Is that it? Is that it? Just the spring? It's like old it school spring, style. Yeah. Well, the the ones that come on the upgraded forge is the OEM spring. Uh huh. Stiffness. So I had to get the upgraded uh, to crack at about 12 to 14 oh. psi. So. Well, the pedals are well placed. The shifter uh, just feels great. You do have to to blip it on the downshifts. You got to give do. it a little bit of a boot. You definitely, it's do. got a little. It's not. It's not that it's like a dead spot, but it's like that first bit of throttle. You're right. It Can does. we get a light a light defroster action up here? Get a little little foggy. God, the sounds it makes are so cool. Sounds so awesome and weird. It's got a unique sound. It really does. And this is your daily driver, right? Oh, yeah. car. You got the kids seat in the got, back. Got the kids seat. Yeah. Exhaust brush on the seat right away. I would ask you if it's been reliable, except I know it hasn't. <laughs> well, <laughs> if I didn't mess with it so much, it yeah, would it it might absolutely have been. would have been. But, uh, Actually, since we last hung out, my uh, my girlfriend bought a, a, a V60 Polestar. The red one. The red one. Yeah, it's and it's fantastic. Car. I really, really like it. It's a beautiful, safe, reliable car. Yeah, and, and it's quick, too. Oh, I'm sure. It's a six-cylinder, right? It is the six-cylinder, yeah. yeah. These gauges are so cool. It's just like such a neat treatment. I had to swap the, uh, the R. That's the R cluster, yes, right? Exactly. Yeah. I thought, the first time you pulled up, I thought it was an R. Everybody thinks it is, yeah. Well, because it just, you see a modified Volvo and you kind of, that's where your mind goes, you know? And then if you look your head in, the, the space ball shifter's out of the R too, right? Right. Yeah. And the brakes, the Brembo's, are also the same as well. But this was always a manual. You didn't convert it, right? Right, right. Okay, yeah. The T5s do come in a five-speed manual. Yeah. The, oh, the uh, R is a six-speed, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. the M56 uh, transmission, the R is an M66. And all will drive. It sort of, it, it, does it behave a little weird at like light throttle sometimes? Like it really kind of wants to be on or it, off the power? I've noticed that a little bit. You got to kind of give it something to really to feel it. It's like, uh, it's race car type stuff. The maintenance throttle, it kind of gets a little herky-jerky, but then when you get in the power, it comes up really strong. Right. I noticed that Race too. car stuff. Perfect for a daily driver to haul your kid around, am I right? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And also, you adjusted your suspension a bit because last time we drove there was some rub, which is mostly Actually, gone. Actually, I put some sway bars in. Oh, heavy duty sway bar. I got so you 
could still run as low, but you don't get as much body roll in there. Exactly. Not as much. Yeah. Okay. I got hooked up with another sponsorship by uh, IPD. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, big uh, shout out this, to them, too. This uh, truck, plow truck, do not plas plas. A little weird on a... Uh, That's okay. We're going to turn around right Don Snow there. Road. The, all the rain washes all the crap down in here. Oh, this guy, I feel bad because I'm going to turn around here, but thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what is uh, what is your skin? Is that just a typical uh, ODB2 gauge, or is that yes. does that do something that is different? No, it's just uh, I have it set to my intake air temperature. Oh, okay. And, uh, so it's just for monitoring. It's not for yeah, tuning. Water temp and all yeah, water yeah. yeah. And then you've got boost gauge and voltage. Oh, correct. Oh, oh, let's see how much, how high can we get the boost gauge? Now, 10 in first gear. Is it boost by gear? <laughs> it's really having trouble getting traction. Hey, it's got touch control for you. <laughs> oh, okay, I was going to say. Second gear and then third gear just blows the front tires right off. It doesn't want to, doesn't want to grip, yeah. Yeah, of course, these roads are damn. What, I forget, what kind of tires are you running? They are a brand called Lazetti. Where, where did you find, what is a Lazetti <laughs> tire? I don't know, but we'll find out how good they are. Um, uh, all right, good time to check it. Yeah. I'm going to go with some Hank Cook uh, Ventus V12s. God, the sounds it makes are so cool. And it doesn't really torque steer. It just kind of spins the wheels when too much goes down. Right. There's your Lazetti tires. There's my Lazetti, yeah. yeah. But even, you know, the, the thing has such a cool attitude about it. You know, when I was standing there when you rolled up this morning and the other guys were there and they were like, damn, that is the coolest Volvo I've ever seen. Yeah, it definitely really don't cool. see anybody, around, you know, out in the valley with modified Volvos. I, uh, I do wish it was all-wheel drive because it's having yeah. some trouble, right? See, I'm sort of managing wheel spin there. Right. <laughs> Those, uh... I, now I've heard the hall decks on the R's, uh -huh. the angle gear can be an issue sometimes. Okay. With launches, of course. You can't, you couldn't put an all-wheel drive into this, could you? I don't know. I don't, I don't think so, but I could be mistaken. It looks like it might have room, but. Well, I'm sure the chassis is the same for both. But right. Yeah. I wonder, you wonder what else is different. Yeah. yeah. I, if, the, if that's the case, I'd probably just go and buy an R. If that's the case, yeah, you buy an R and swap whatever parts right. over that you can exactly. and. My wife's car, I, I got her a uh, <laughs> 2006 S40 all wheel drive, flipped it in the heat. Uh huh. We did not too long ago. Uh huh. And that handles excellent in the snow. Yeah, those things, are, those things aren't bad. What's the actual red line of this, of this car? Seven? Uh, about seven, yeah. Okay. You can power shift it. Can you? Uh, yeah. Is that with a tune or is that for the fact tune? It's actually with a tune, it, um, they call it no lift shift. Right. And then it comes with an anti lift. Really? It does. It's a so four-wheel drive so car. So what do I do? How do I just... So about between six, about 6,500, you just... <laughs> okay. So if, does it, that, I, I short shifted and power shifted, so is that why, like, if it does it over a certain RPM, it holds it, it won't rev up further? Just keep, you just keep your foot planted on the accelerator. Okay. Do it from uh, probably second and third. Or third second gear. Here we go. Foot to the floor. Wheel spin. Wheel spin. Oh yeah. It works. Usually gets like a huge backfire. Big, a big backfire. And, uh, Maybe if it bangs the rev limiter, I, I would. You probably know, yeah. I try seven. not to redline people's cars if I can avoid it. Even though it does sound awesome. In yeah, this it case. definitely does. This is the coolest sounding Volvo I can think of. It's got a good hum to it. It really does. It's just like, there's so many like spacey noises going on over there. And you know, I had my friend drive it before and yeah. it sounds so much louder outside the cabin. Oh yeah. I, I was like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, the, the cabin is surprisingly refined. I mean, it, it, outside when you were doing the flyby shots, it, it's loud. It, yeah. it is a loud car. You can, it carries too. You can hear it for a wave. But in, inside, surprisingly fun. Oh, man. I'm so glad I got to drive it again. Absolutely. What a nice treat. And at least this time, a little, things, little less fender rub. Yeah, no, it's really good. This car is so fun. It's just, it is it's really car. different and weird and cool and it's like. It's unique. No one has it. I love uh, it. Nobody has it. You're right. This is, this is very, very unique. I love it.
Thanks so much, Absolutely. Tyler. Thank you so much for coming back. Yeah, this definitely. is uh, this is great. I call you Tyler. It's Taylor, Taylor isn't it? Yeah. Why I fucking call you Tyler? I don't before know. Too? Uh, you no, didn't you, stop you me. You called me Taylor. You, uh, Taylor before, but it's all good, man. Don't worry Ta- about it. I know his name. I just didn't yeah. meet too many people. Taylor and his Volvo. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Thank you Thanks for watching. Again, let, let me the be car is dog. great. Sorry, I got your name wrong. It's all right. I stink. Shit happens. See you guys later. Shit happens. It's a cold <laughs> morning, right? <Yeah. laughs>